Christmas home brewers and YouTubers and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be trying the ginger beer. The ginger beer. So we have uh, left it for some time in my fridge. It is now nice and cold and as you can tell it's in the Grouch bottle. Why I didn't label it up? Because I have really, uh, at the time of doing this, I had a really, really, really low, like, opinion. So, the ginger beer has been chilled and it is here and it's all looking nice and pretty. Uh, the sediment is at the bottom, so it did work. Lovely, lovely. And we're going to pop it open. Drum roll. That stuff fell out. That is good. Smells good too. So, uh... Nectar. So, uh, right, anyway. Enough patting myself on the back. So this bread yeast, it is made with bread yeast. So it is about, yeah, 2.5 slash slightly over 3-ish percent. It is not really a high alcohol um, drink. Oh well, never mind. The first thing that you can smell when you open the bottle, uh, there is a bit of pressure in there. Very, very nice. It really does sort of, you can smell caramel and you can smell ginger. You can't really, citrus is very, very mildly there, but nothing, nothing too big. Either way, it smells really good. So, uh, how does it pour? Check that. I'd say that's enough bubbles. Right, pour it properly. So yeah, it pours very nicely, as long as you don't just... But yeah, a nice sparkle, a good colour. Look at that. So the honey did do its job. I think, I think I'm going to be making this again. Either way, um, so let's be honest about it. Ooh. It is very pleasant. So, unlike my normal um, stuff I make with ginger, the ginger itself, it's, uh, it's there, it's fresh, it's zingy, but it's not overpowering. And as you can tell, it's clear, it doesn't need to settle. So, bread yeast, it can. Bread yeast, turns out you can use it. It's not really surprising. Uh, the reason that I chose to use bread yeast and to use honey instead of normal sugar uh, is because I have seen on multiple occasions people using bread yeast. Um, and they're saying that it makes no difference to the flavour. I can confirm it, it doesn't, it's true. It's very good, it's sparkling, it's fermented. Okay, it's a low fermentation. I don't know what would happen if we tried to bump up the, uh, bump up the sugar in it, but for a nice, easy drinking, pleasant drink, it's actually really good. not too fiery either. So I can confirm that this recipe is actually um, actually pretty good. I would say to add in more zest, more zest, if you like a lot of citrus as well. But still, the citrus is there, it's just working with the ginger. It is it's very good. Complete success! Uh, yay! Anyway, so I got down some bread yeast because, funny enough, this is the bread yeast that I used, I think it was. I have two types. I have quite a lot of old bread yeast. Now the thing is about this, this bread yeast, which we use to make this perfectly drinkable, quite nice tasting ginger beer slash mead, um, this went out of date. It says best before um, the first 2015, so you have no excuse. Old. And it still works, so there we go. Uh, funny enough, I would have thrown it away if it was all clumped together and mushy, but it's still, funny enough, perfect like yeast, so good enough. I am absolutely astounded the fact that this is actually really good. Uh, I have slated using bread yeast in the past because I have tried, and it was awful, really bad. But um, this has worked. It's worked very well. Awesome. I'm, I'm very happy. 
and it has bubbles and it's chilled. Very refreshing. Anyway, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, you can use this recipe, alter it a bit more, and uh, see for yourself. It is, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna say goodbye because that is, that's pretty good. <laughs>